Hey, I want to talk to you about something that you will be able to do with Elemental Pro when the Flex Container release is out there. But until then, what if you've got lots of text boxes and they're all different sizes in terms of content? And if you start to layer them out with text um, editors, even when you use the custom positioning and you put it to custom, you find that there's always these massive amount of spaces between the boxes. And no matter what you do with the column where you go to um, like your layout and you sent it to be space between or space evenly, it doesn't do this masonry effect that we have over here. Now, please remember, when the flex containers and all of that is out in Elemental, you'll be able to do that with that. But we're not covering that here. I'm giving you a solution of how to do it right now before the flex containers is fully released. So over here, this actually is just a HTML widget. It's not even text boxes, it's a HTML widget. Here's the code that we have over here. Okay, this code you could grow and adapt as many times as you want. Every time I have a new box, it has that kind of um, a description. And you will notice that all of my boxes, they have a class name of either one, two, or three. There's a reason for that. I've only gone for three sizes. You could go with four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sizes, and I'll cover that in a moment. So what you would do is um, over here where I've put item one, you would kind of put in your text, okay, or your HTML or whatever you want to pop into there, okay? So you could easily uh, personalize this with regards to your text and stuff like that. If we then go to advanced, by the way, um, this... We'll, there'll be a link in the description for you to get the code. Just click it and it'll take you to the site and you can get the code over there. It's super simple. It's easy, all right? Don't, don't worry about it. We then go to advanced and in the custom CSS down here, let me just move this over here, we can now see what we're doing with the actual boxes. So I've kind of decided this is going to be like three columns wide. Just do that there. So if you wanted to have two, you could do. Let's just put it back to three because that looks quite nice. And then what we do is I then start to determine the parameters. So the box is going to have a margin of 20. If I change this to 50, you can see what's going on. Like it starts to add in a bit more space. I think 20 was quite reasonable all around. I mean, you could even argue that maybe 18 was better. Like that or something. Then I also have some padding as well. So if I was to change this to 40, you can see what it's now doing to the text. I just went for 10. And of course, if you wanted to, you could even go with a border radius as well. If you wanted to do that for your boxes. So let's just go with uh, 25 uh, pixels like that. So if we want to add in a border radius, we can. I'm going to take that off for now, okay, because I don't want to have that in. Now, here's the key bit. If we go back to the HTML, okay, content, there we go, box one is, well, box one is box one. Box two over here is called, as a class of box two. This is a class as box three. You can clearly see that this is double that. And this is about the total of, well, it's that times three. Or you could say it was that plus that. However you want to identify it. If we go to advanced and we go to custom CSS, here's where I'm now identifying the what the colors are of each box. So I'm now saying anything that is box one will now be gray. But what if I want to change it? And I go with that. Anything that now has a box one assigned to it will be that color. I could even do the same for box two. Let's just go with FFA900, uh, I think. There we go. We now have a varied color scheme for box three. Now, don't forget, though, I could really um, mess around here. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to call this one, okay, box four. Okay. And box four is now going to be a, um, let's go for a, a, a blue color. So let's go with 00 FF, something like that. Now, box four is not changing anything because none of these are identified as bo box four. Is this making sense? If I go back over to my content, I'm gonna pick uh, this box over here, which was KK over here, and I'm gonna do a uh, box uh, four like that. Can you see what's happening now over here? Things are now starting to change. Let's go back to our advance. Um, you will also notice that we have the height. So box one, 50 pixels. Box two is double, 100. Box three is 150. Well, you know what? For box four, let's just make that be um, 75 instead. We now have a completely different size going on here. It's kind of in the middle of, some, well, let's just, let's, let's make it even ridiculous, 200. And what you then get is this thing where it starts to carry over a bit. 
because now you see it's what it's trying to do is kind of contain everything. So I would say you do have to mess around a little bit. But once you work out your sizes, and I would say go for consistency, so 50, 100, 150, 150 again as well, you can start to rearrange your items to fit a masonry effect. Of course, it will depend on your text. So if I go back over here to my content and I take this box over here, which is box number two here, and I now extend the text, watch what happens. It carries over because box two is only allowed to be 100 pixels in size. Let me undo that. So have a think about that. Flex container, when it comes out, is gonna make this so much easier. So everyone who starts to throw things at me, I get that, I get it. But until then, if you wanted to add some sort of like flex container approach to your website, this is one possible solution. You're probably not gonna like, you're probably not gonna share, but I hope you do and I hope you subscribe and I'll keep seeing you.